the next one that we're going to be talking about is uh, about code mixing, right? So kids that are exposed to two languages or more languages, um, a lot of the times they kind of mix uh, the languages. And folks a lot of the times talk about how that is a sign that the child is confused because they're not picking just one language, right? Um, the reality is that code mixing is totally typical. Um, adults who are exposed to two languages do that all the time. Uh, kids who do code mixing, um, a lot of the times they do it because they still do not know perhaps a word or a, um, or a phrase in the other language. So they are, they're being smart, they're problem solving, they're picking and choosing words from their lexicon, the languages that they have, to be able to communicate what it is that they want. So again, code mixing, combining two or more languages in a phrase that is not a sign of the child being confused, it's just a sign of a child being resourceful and being able to figure out a way to communicate what it is that they want.